This is a list of companies and for each company we have the company's income, growth and profit for a fairly large number of companies. One of the troubles with this data set is that it's not formatted from a decimal position perspective. This, the first number that I'm looking at has one decimal, 4.2, this one has zero decimals, this one has two decimals and that makes it a little difficult for the eye to figure out which are larger numbers. We usually assume that the longer the number, so this one for example, the bigger it is and the shorter the number, like this one, zero, the smaller it is. But out here I have 2.7 which is slightly shorter than 0 0.26 which confuses the brain a little bit at a first glance. Now we have to carefully look at it and still, and we can still figure it out, but we find it difficult to figure it out at the first glance. So one way of fixing this is to have a constant precision. Now, the easiest way of achieving this is to click on the increase decimal or decrease decimal that we have here. You could also click on this little arrow here to get to the number format and that lets you define the format that you want as well as the number of digits that you want here. Uh, another way is to just click on the comma which automatically formats it with a comma separator as well and then you can choose to increase or decrease your decimal position. Now in this case the comma uh, operator also puts a hyphen for zeros which helps because that way you can distinguish between extremely small numbers which are shown as zero and a real zero which is shown as a hyphen. Another question is how do we decide how many decimal places we want? The short answer is as little as you can to afford to differentiate between the data. For example, if I were to take growth and reduce the number of decimals to zero, they're all zero. So that's clearly not enough. Is this sufficient? Well, there are still many point ones, minus point ones, and not this is not enough to differentiate between these. So I would go to two decimals in this case to differentiate between the numbers and that's sort of the minimum. However, in this case, you'll notice that growth is actually a percentage. So maybe we don't want to show this as decimals. We probably want to show this as percentages, which I can achieve by clicking on the percentage style operator. And that gives me percentages to zero decimals. Do I need more? Maybe not. Uh, I find that I can differentiate between most numbers directly at zero decimals. Similarly, for profits, I can just apply the percentage symbol. This is really the profitability, uh, not the uh, uh, not the actual profit number. Sorry, this is the actual profit number. So I can just apply a decimal formatting and say I want it to about one decimal because that helps me differentiate and put a comma so that I can see the zeros as hyphens. Make sure that your data always has the minimum precision required to differentiate between the numbers and that you consciously apply this to every single column in your data.